Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 5 of my storyline playthrough. And... Been working on the base a bit more. It's kind of slow going. I mean, even with three Alamodactyls producing clay for me, it's still not the fastest. Thinking about maybe getting a couple more of them to, uh, to do their thing. But, right as I was getting ready to hit record, thunderstorm started. So I was like, hey, why not? So anything electrical right now is not going to work. Which is to be expected, honestly. So, I do see a couple drops over here, though. And I think I'm pretty safe from being hit by lightning bolts. I think it's all just out on the horizon. And, hey, it's a green drop of the ring. Okay. I might manage to uh, snag myself some... Some Adobe crafting bits. And I did. Alright, cool. Also, wooden wall sign. Eh, why not? Parasaur saddle blueprint. Alright, we can take on the mana core now. It's a ramshackle parasaur blueprint. They'll be invincible. Actually, that would be an interesting army to try to pull off, wouldn't it? Oh, well, we got ourselves an oil pump. And we're literally right where there's a bunch of oil veins, so... The heck made that noise? Oh, vulture. Okay. Yeah, something I found off-camera was a Mastercraft Pelagornis saddle. I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's effective for this map. Heck, on any story maps, do you get Pelagornis again until maybe Genesis? Oh, hey, you're still around. That's a bit of a shame, because, uh... You caught up to me right at the, uh, the oil vein. Okay, there we go. Alright, awesome. And let's see, yeah, yeah, skulls and stuff everywhere, lightning striking every which way. Oh, that one was kind of close, wasn't it? I don't know if it's actual lightning strike or just a lighting effect that the game's applying. I mean, one of the two. And I do have a couple oil pumps, but they're on the uh, other side here. I might actually have to do a dino wipe. Things have quit spawning, it seems like. Hey. I love that damage bonus versus bugs. So good. Alright, so how far do you have to come down? Yeah, you're kind of close. Yeah, I think it's just the lighting effect. It's just lighting up the fog or whatever. Hmm, yeah, just, just stone. 1,300 stone from that, though. That's, yeah, pretty good. Just a shame you can't really build with stone on this map. All right, come on, give. Thank you. Ooh, more adobe. Hell yeah. All right, and I guess let's just head back to base. I'm going to have to pretty much wait the storm out, I think. Oh, I'm overheated again, finally. Well, there's a green chop right there. Might as well go for it. And I think that's a Chalante. I have not tamed a Chalante source in such a long time because they're really, I mean, they're not bad. They're really not that great either. Uh, damn. 
Take that and that, I guess, and the rest of this can just go. It's all wood. Uh, let's see. I mean, the Chalante, it's another large theropod. Uh, their gimmick is they do a stacking bleed effect. I think it stacks up to like 10 times or something. Hi. Yeah, you can't even reach me, dude. Give it up. Is there anything up here? Ah, uh, there's another Chalante up here. Okay, I should probably check up top here more often. I mean, there's Terror Bird up here, too. And... Oh, there's a drop coming down on the other side over here. Up top, actually. Hmm. Yellow drop. I'm not quite certain I'm going to do this episode yet. Uh, one thing is, is I just have to... I got time to kill while I'm waiting for a you know clay to be made. So I've been using, <coughs> excuse me, uh, this Alamodactylus to go out and get cactus sap and sand and everything like that, I'm distributing it to the other three who were uh, currently producing clay for me to keep this one's weight down so that I don't uh, overfill things by accident. And where did I get sulfur from though? Hmm, it's odd. Oh, you got a ways to come down yet. But I do love the thunderstorms in this map. I mean, they did a good job on the, uh, especially the graphics for it. And it's not that standard, like, cheesy, you know, thunder sound that most games use. It actually sounds like thunder. So, it's kind of nice. So, storm's over. But actually, whenever that green drop finally came down, the storm ended like right at the same instant. It's like, oh, well, that works. Uh, there's another green drop over there already on the ground, but I'm taming this Chalante right now. There you go. It's level 360. And see, that one's still coming down. Just barely started, so. The white and the greens are actually kind of useful to me right now. You know, who'd have thought, right? Besides the fact that it, you know, I added the mods that gives chibis and drops, but... Uh... uh Master Guy Raptor Saddle's not bad, I guess. Those three suck, though. Wood has, uh, basically negative insulation properties whenever it... What is everybody fighting? I mean, whatever it is, is dead now. And it's a bit of a given, but you need to land. Yeah. Come on. Up. You can stay here for now. Leg spike. That was weird. All right. Are you ready to meet? Yeah, you are. Okay. So whenever I get back, I'll get another egg too. I've already got two fertilized eggs, actually. So... I'm gonna be... basically here. Because I'm out of aggro range of this guy. But I can drop food down. And this thing... It, there's, it's not gonna aggro anything. And unless it's aggroed, it's not gonna just walk off the uh, the ledge. It's just gonna kind of pace around a little bit. So this is like the perfect way to tame a big carnivore. It really is. And then there's that other Chalante down there somewhere too. I think it's only like 200 something though. This one though, max level. It's like, yeah, okay, they're not great, but I'll tame a max level one. Oh, it's down, okay. That's funny, you can see my dinosaurs way before you see the, the base load in because it's the same color as the surrounding terrain. It just kind of fades in. And, eh, got Parasaur. Okay. I like the ones that actually give you resources. Those are pretty handy, honestly. 
All right. So I'm going to be doing this for a while. What percentage are you at now? Because it'll be a little bit easier when I can get down there with you. Uh, 19. I think it ate that other one I tossed down there already. While I was gone. Oh, well, no, actually, that one ended up on the platform with me. Hmm. That's annoying. Wink. Okay. Okay, good. It didn't go too far. Thought I was going to go on the next ledge down. I'm like, ah, don't do that. Make it even harder to get this guy fed. And we'll just do that. So as soon as he's hungry, he's got something to eat again. And... I'm pretty stuck up here, honestly. Not a bad place for, you know, getting a good view, though. Can I, uh, come up that? No, I can't, but I can do this to get past you. Okay. Right. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, yeah, there's green knob, blue, or ice red. Blue is basically... can't see it from up here. But on the other side of the green here. Actually, do, do, it would be on the other side of that rock there, I think, right? Yep. I actually know it was on the other side of this. Okay. All right, and down we go. Hi, I'm inside of you. Get pet. Um, however, now I may be regretting my decision because um, I'm stuck here until this thing moves. <laughs> He's stuck too. Oh, well. Um, can I? There, okay. Okay, can you move now? Oh, well, he ate it. Uh, um, yeah, no, I'm inside your shoulder now. You know, they almost look friendly when they're not trying to eat you. Okay, well, I just... I'm actually inside of him. Okay. Yeah, I am... My feet are not touching the bird. I think I was standing on his uh, hands. And then when I kneeled, I pulled my legs up inside of his chest cavity. And then my Trudon's peeking out of his armpit. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to be here for a while. So now he's taken to walking around and taking me for a ride. At this point, I'm just really hoping that uh, he doesn't see something on the ground. I'm pretty sure his aggro range isn't that big. But, uh, yeah, it could suck. Because I'm pretty sure I'm within the uh, AOE for his bite. And this thing does a percentage bleed. So, yeah. Could be fatal. Even with the, the armor I have. Uh, let's see. Can I lay down? No. I, I'm still crouched. And I can't uncrouch because I'm in a confined area. Can't move. This is my life now. <laughs> At least until it's tamed and I can just pick it up and I'll be fine. But, uh, I keep catching him, like, glancing over his shoulder at me. It's kind of weird. Aww. Like, nope, I'm not looking at you. But he is still kind of stuck on my bird, too, now. Yeah, he's trying to walk, but he can't. Well, at least I have enough bait, because otherwise this could really suck, because, well, I've actually had to, you know, sit there and tame. It was a uh, Rex. It was like a 280-something. Like, the last 40% was by petting it. That was not fun. The cool thing was, though, is I was able to jump on its back and just ride him around while I killed things. That was fun.
But uh, yeah, no, the, the whole, I had to wait for everything random to die and then pet them and then it was getting like 0.6% per and yeah, that was a half hour ordeal. This is uh, not much better though, really. But at least I have food to speed the process up. But he will come out as a 540, so can't beat that. Oh, well, now he's going to want care occasionally. That could be troublesome, though. Okay, he wants care. Okay, cool. He didn't. All right, because they, they try to walk to you when they want care. And I don't know what would happen if he just started walking. He may just, like, right upside the cliff. I mean, it's not like I can't come back up and get my fly or anything like that, but if he lands down there and then starts attacking something, I could be in trouble. But, I mean, it's proceeding nicely, and you're just going to be here for a while. Hey, we're back to that, and my recording software had a, uh, yeah, a glitch. But, uh... These are my my newborn, roughly so to speak, uh, Arca monsters, and I have them set to aggressive right now, and we're just roaming the desert, just uh, establishing our dominance. I think. Hey. Oh, <laughs> you realize you guys were fighting a uh, death worm. The time I realized it, it was dead. All right. So yeah, no, these guys are uh, full-grown, imprinted, and just fully capable of destroying so much. And their parents are still back at base, actually. So, uh, no, I don't like fighting Arthros. And that's an Arthro over there. Oh, hello, Mr. Deathworm. Yeah, you're dead. I don't like to harvest the corpse, though, for whatever reason. Strange. Um, one of you has been collecting death worm horns, right? Uh, let's see. No. Nope. You got two. Okay, cool. All right, awesome. So I think it goes to whatever lands the last hit. And... I guess come on this way. Okay, good. Thirty-three hundred damage on a pounce, though. I didn't realize the pounce did that much damage. Okay. Well. Why can't I not? There it goes. There's a cooldown on the pounce. Oh, okay. Well, that explains a bit. And. Yeah, 3396. Oh! Well, that was another death worm. Hey, little Eric monster. Okay, yeah, you're dead. 396, and yeah. I did find that the ones. Oh, uh, dang it. Oh, well, they're only taking a couple hundred damage for the time they strike it. Uh, the ones inland actually come in at a higher level for whatever reason. I found a uh, 408 wandering in one of the canyons. So, didn't tame it. Thought about it for about half a second and then it attacked me and it's like, okay. All bets are off. And then you go, oh hey, Mantis. Ow. I am going to be collecting so much polymer. All right, Thorned Dreadweaver. Hey. Oh, I was starting to save that Pulmonoscorpus. Oh, what a shame. I killed it. Oh, hello, Mr. Deathpoint. I wonder why I couldn't move. And it's because they don't actually show that the Deathform hitbox protrudes above the soil, or the, the soil, the sand. And, uh, surprise. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, that last one actually managed to hit me. 
Why did I do more damage to the line? Oh, probably because it was no longer mate boosted. But yeah, so if you're just running through the desert running into something, you're going to be attacked. That's just how it works. And I just saw a death one. Oh, come on, guys. Clean up my mess, would you? And there's another Arkham monster. These things are actually a lot more common than I thought they would be. Yeah, that was nice and quick. And then there's that guy. All right, cool. So we'll probably head back to base. Uh, there was something else that happened when I thought it was recording, but I wasn't. And, uh, well, I got the audio. The video just, yeah, nothing. And let's see. I just saw another death form over this way somewhere. Ah, there he is. But let's go ahead and... Oh, that's right, you can't shoot from these guys. Oh, well. And last one. There we go. And that is... I got myself a poison wyvern. So, I had a uh, poison wyvern talon from killing the one that showed up kind of randomly. And so I'm like, okay, I can make a trophy bait out of this. So I did. And I went and challenged a Poison Wyvern, who turned out to be a level 408. Um, did enough damage to drop it to half its health, which my Alamodactylus was more than capable of, really. I did take one shot from the poison. almost killed me, though. I thought it was a lower level Poison Wyvern it was. So it's like, okay, I'm laying on the ground. I'm going to come here. I'm going to whack it once. Check to see progress. You know, I don't want to make sure I didn't kill it by accident. And then he yeah, had hit me, and it dropped me down to like five health. <laughs> the rider, not, not the Alamodactylus. So after that, it was a full-out, you know, aerial dog fight. But uh, then I had to teleport home because I didn't have any bait on me. This guy proceeded to glitch under the mesh and follow me back to base. Under the map. And. Uh, so I teleport back out to him, and I'm like, where the hell is he? You know, I start tracking and using the built-in tracker. And I can't, you know, I can see it, and it's I'm like, what the hell? You know, is there a hidden cave in the trench or what? No. No, he was under. <sighs> Thank you, Windows. That was great. Uh, under the mesh. And uh, so what I ended up doing was I threw down a piece of bait on the ground. He tried going for it. And I quickly teleported over to Blue Ob. Waited about 15 seconds and teleported back over to my base. And uh, because he was moving before the world loaded in all the way, he phased back through the mesh. Which is, I'm guessing, what happened. Because he was moving and then the world unloaded around him. And that's just me taking a drink. There we go. Uh, and he phased through the mesh before. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe it'll work again, which... Thank God that time it did. Um, I was kind of keeping an eye out too for that atmospheric jellyfish that I saw. I think it was over more towards Blue Ob. Because I have the ability to do poison balls. And that has no arc to it. That just That is a straight line. Uh, stamina is a bit low on this guy. Yeah. Yeah, let's put a couple levels into that. But it was level 408. Tamed up, level 612. I'm like, I can live with that. And... And I have a wyvern. Like, an actual true wyvern. Who is very happy to see you. I mean... Look at that grin. He's a very happy wyvern. Let's see, where was that thing at now? I think that is uh, the Ma or whatever it's called, right? 
the base of where these two spikes are. I thought about actually setting up my base over here because, well, plenty of water. We've got some cool overhangs. We've got a waterfall coming out. And then I get to look at the ground. I'm like, okay, there's a lot of stuff to clear out. I can do that without a problem. But then it's not really all that flat either. I still may set up something over here. Um, let's see. Yeah, you don't fire down, do you? Okay. Hmm, kind of. 45 is like the best I can hope for. Okay. Then we have another waterfall over here. I think there's like a third one around too, isn't there? Now, can I collect anything from here if I do that? No. I can collect, uh, like, thatch and stuff doing that, but... What do we got? A journeyman donkey saddle. Yes, in scorched earth. That is perfect. Just what I wanted. So I may still set up a base over here. I'm not sure. And yeah, there's a third waterfall. Um, I don't know. Maybe I could rig up something kind of hanging from the, the bridges. I don't know. I'll have to kind of wait and see. I still missed. What the heck? I need to practice with the boys in Wyvern. That's for certain. Hey. 960. That's not bad. And it didn't aggro anything. <laughs> all those shots went right over his back. Okay, but yeah, no, it didn't... The other two didn't aggro at all on me whenever I was hitting that thing with poison, so... That's two Gigantoraptors, like, basically side by side. <laughs> There's a concavenator up here on this post, in the pillar. That's kind of funny. And I still missed. Okay. Um, let's see. Was this one... Yeah, I think I collected this one already. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting thatch, but I'm not getting sap from the, uh, the Joshua trees there. Hmm, not bad bite damage either. I have not collected this one yet. Can I get the wyvern in there at all? I'm really thinking that I may not be able to. I can't even land now. Oh well. I was going to collect it either way. It was just going to be one of those things is, you know, does the wyvern get the bonus as well or not? And it looks like not today. Alright, so where is this atmospheric jellyfish? I think what happens is they uh, they basically just keep going up and up until they hit the, the top of the map. And then that's kind of all she wrote. You know, I've never really done anything around Blue Up. Like, ever. There is that cave up here, but... I've never, like, set up a base around Blue Ob or anything. I think a big part of it is this place is crawling with the eagles and whatnot. Which does make it a little more interesting to try and keep tames around here. Eh, yeah, Carno just attacked a moth. And... Oh, well, there's crystal up here. That's good news, I guess. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing that gigantic blob of tentacles anywhere, so... Well, that's a bit of a bust, but... I mean, hey, I do have a wyvern now. And... Yeah, well... I, I don't see it within render distance, let's put it that way. It's not like I have a tech transmitter that I could actually scan the whole map for the student thing, so. The heck just hit that thing. 
I <laughs> just watched it like backpedal down the slope. It was a Karno, okay. Boom! Direct hit. Yeah, I definitely need to work on this guy's stamina a bit, I think. Once I start doing rapid fire balls like that, yeah. Say 3,000 stam. He's got 21,000 health. That's not terrible, actually. <laughs> I love it. Giant beastie like that, you know, and very impressive movements with wings and everything like that, and then it does the micro raptor sound when it levels up. And it's just like, mm, no, come on, you can do better than that. Let's see. Is there anything else of interest around here? I mean, there's, you know, this thing here. But, uh... Not really seeing a whole lot else on this map right now. But I mean, the cool thing is I got a poison wyvern. Bad thing is, is my recording did not turn out like it should, so it does kind of suck. I did get the Chalante Saurus as well, and uh, and that was pretty much a given at that point. I was stuck inside of his rib cage, so I think it might be time to start thinking about what I'm going to do for an army for the Manticore, so I can start prepping for it without having to, to dedicate, you know, several hours at a stretch to it. Uh, Chalantes might work, actually. Especially if I can find another high level. I think it, I need a female. Uh, Rexes would work. Tarbos work. Uh, Pasolosuchus, I actually have used that before in the past. It's not the greatest, and it's hard to get on the platform. But it works. Uh, car cars work. I need to look up and see, though, what all... The flyers I can take in. I know I can take wyverns. But I'm wondering if I could take just like a fleet of like, you know, Alamodactylus in. Or for maximum humiliation, just like, you know, 20 vultures and see what happens. But, uh, I don't know. Could be funny. Could be actually really funny. I don't think I would try it on anything but the gamma though. With the vultures. Okay, we're doing 1180 now with our poison spit. Oh, he went off the edge. And he's dead. And it was only a level 108. I mean, vultures can be funny. I mean... If moths had any sort of attack, I would definitely try that, but... They can't really deal damage. the heck just happened there? I came in for a land. Did I, like, clip that Morella Tops or something? I mean, is that what just happened? And, like, it was... Then it was cranky at me for some reason? I don't know. I mean, I could do an army of Arca monsters, too. They actually might be able to take on the, the Mana Core. One of the, the main things... Or reasons why they could is simple and they're fast. And I mean I did get lucky with one of the eggs. I did get one set of twins, so that's why I have four sitting in my poke, which I need to uh, yeah, I need to get out and uh make sure they're not a on a yeah, they're on aggressive still. But I'm going to get to thinking about what I'm going to do for my army. Uh, probably work on my base a bit more. And I shall see everybody next time. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until hopefully tomorrow, sign signing out. Have fun.